Hey, uh, welcome back. Uh, for this lecture, we're, we're going to talk about uh, different issues in information design, more specifically, how do you define information design? By defining this term in various ways, you can get a sort of a broader uh, view of what information design is. Here's the first definition. This is by AEI, AIGA. Uh, information design makes complex information easier to understand and to use. This uh, definition obviously talks about the utility of understanding and usefulness for information and information design. Another definition by Frank Fisson. Information design is about the clear and effective presentation of information. It involves a multi and interdisciplinary approach to communication combining skills from graphic design, technical and non-technical authoring, psychology, communication theory, and cultural studies. Um, again, this definition, in, in contrast to the last one, it talks about a, a variety of different fields that are would really help for you to design information well, specifically graphic design, authoring, psychology, communication theory, and cultural studies. Next. Information design is all about the psychology and physiology of how users access, learn, and remember information, the impact of colors, shapes, and patterns, learning styles. Again, this is another multidisciplinary view of information design, uh, specifically thinking about things like, like again, colors, shapes, patterns, learning styles, etc. This is by our friend Luigi Canali de Rossi. Uh, this one's by Richard Saul Worman, better known for uh, pioneering uh, TED Talks. My quote is, the only way to communicate is to understand what it is like not to understand. It is at that moment that you can make something understandable. This one sort of makes the information designer more empathetic, taking the view of the person who's receiving the information, seeing what they don't understand, and trying to make it more understandable. It's always good to look and see what your audience needs. Another definition. Information design addresses the organization and presentation of data, its transformation into valuable, meaningful information. Um, some of the things that you'll need to do when you're creating infographics is to organize and present data in, in ways that are understandable. And you want to have it so that it's valuable for the, the audience member who's going to be uh, viewing it. Another definition, information design is defined as the art and science of preparing information so that it can be used by human beings with efficiency and effectiveness. Information design's primary products appear as the documents and as presentations on computer screens. Again, this looks at the usefulness, the utility of information, more specifically the efficiency and effectiveness of using uh, information and in the later part of the definition it helps to show the sort of the presentation medium which well, for the digital age is obviously a lot of computer screens. Uh, information design addresses the organization of presentation data, it's transformation into valuable meaningful information. Again, organization, presentation of data, you want, this again emphasizes the idea of the, the usefulness of information in terms of being valuable and meaningful to the audience. Another uh, definition. Information design is the defining, planning, and shaping of the contents of a message in the environment it is presented in, the intention of achieving particular objectives in relation to the needs of others. Um, this talks of uh, it highlights the different processes, defining, planning, and shaping, which are all different steps you're going to want to go through. It also highlights the environmental aspect of it um, in terms of making that important. Where is the message going to be received? A couple more uh, information design definitions will, will be finished. Uh, this one, quote, information design is the transfer of complex data to, for the most part, two-dimensional visual representations 
aimed at communicating, documenting, and preserving knowledge. It deals with making entire sets of facts and their iterations comprehensible with the objective of creating transparency and eliminating uncertainty. Uh, this one deals with and highlights the idea that data can be quite complex. The fact that it's often presented in two dimensionals, two dimensions. It also highlights the idea that uh, you want to highlight and make clear the relationships that are within the data information that you're dealing with and the idea that you want to make whatever the underlying phenomenon transparent and certain. Uh, this one's by Terry Irwin. Information designers are very special people who must master all the skills and talents of a designer. Combine them with the rigor and problem solving ability of a scientist or a mathematician and bring that curiosity, research skills, and doggedness of a scholar to their work. This one I like because it sort of talks about the multiplicity of different skills that you're going to need. Those of a designer, those of a scientist, a mathematician, a researcher, and a scholar. Which makes doing these things, making, uh, making an infographic, uh, it highlights how wide a skill set you're going to need. And finally, information design. Also known as communication design is a rapidly growing discipline that draws on typography, graphic design, applied linguistics, applied psychology, applied ergonomics, computing, and other fields. It emerges as a response to people's needs to understand and use these things as forms, legal documents, science, computer inf interfaces, technical information, and operating assembly instructions. From this, it again talks about the multiple different fields that you need to, to have some kind of appreciation and skill for, like typography, graphic design, etc. It also talks about the different forms that it can come in, like legal documents, signs, etc. From all of this, hopefully you come to some kind of uh, appreciation for how information design can be defined in so many different ways. Some of the skill sets, the knowledge bases, and the fields, as well as the formats that um, your Info infographic will need to take. With that, thanks for listening. Hope to see you soon for another lecture.